It's a Nezumino Gray, thank you. Did you carve a pumpkin this year? I've actually never carved a pumpkin before. I don't think my parents trust me with like sharp things. <laughs> okay, I can't cook with my mom because my mom trusts me so little with a knife. She trusts me so little with a knife. Whenever I'm chopping things next to her, she's just like staring at me and she's like, No, you know, I'm just watching you, just making sure you're okay. Just making sure you're okay. And I'm like, Mom, I can't chop anything if you're staring at me. She's like, I'm not staring. You know, just just watch, just watching over you. I'm like, Mom, it's fine. I cook by myself when you're not here too. And she's just like, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so it's really... And then I'm like, you know what? You just do it. Whatever. <laughs> to be fair, I am kind of clumsy. I've, I almost cut myself. Very often. Okay, there's one time my mom literally dropped a knife onto my foot. She has no right. <laughs> I was fine and everything. Like the it didn't it didn't actually hurt me, but she dropped the knife onto my foot. <laughs> and I screamed so loud. <laughs> no, it didn't it didn't hurt me. Like it just felt it fell flat onto my foot, like with the with the like the flat side, so it was fine. But like, damn, that was so scary. <laughs> and she was like, "Oh, it was just an accident. It's fine." I was like, "No, mom, you almost chopped my foot off." But then I tried to chop like an onion in half, and she's like, "Oh my god, I need to make sure you don't kill yourself." Like, mom, that doesn't make sense. I need to stop talking. I keep I keep going off on tangents. <laughs>